Okay, we're gonna continue on foam filling our Don Post Frankenstein mask. All right, what I've done so far is I went ahead and cut my black felt out and taped it in with black uh, Gorilla tape. And I did the eyes, I did the nose, the mouth, and the ears. As you can see, this mask has some decaying issues with mask rot going around. That's okay, so it's going to be used on a prop for my Frankenstein anyway, so it's not going to be worn anymore, which is another reason why I decided to foam fill it. I have went ahead and taped up the seam in the back of the mask uh, with black latex, or sorry, the Gorilla Tape. And I've already put in one layer of latex inside the mask. Just switched it around and uh, covered most of the areas again. Uh, what I should have done first is probably use the latex and cheesecloth. What I'm going to do next is use that cheesecloth and latex around areas that are really cracked around the bolt areas and whatnot to really reinforce the latex. Uh, like creating a mold with burlap, uh, the cheesecloth reinforces the latex and gives it uh, a nice firm structure to collapse on and when it dries it's, it's pretty good it's kind of like also using you know cement wire and cement just gives it something to reinforce all right so a simple thing to do um, get the late the cheesecloth layered in make sure you have gloves on because it can get messy you know way pulling latex out of your arm hair it's just not fun all right so we get a nice coating on the latex another thing to do I'll show you another way is just lay it in um, get the cheesecloth in there get wet if you ever use monster mud kind of the same pain in the butt stuff once it gets wet it's, it's terrible to use all right now we've got a nice wet cloth you want to place it over some of the cracked areas and lay it out like a bandage inside the mask. We'll go back over it with some more latex to reinforce it some more and really give it a good seal. So I'm going to continue doing this around the neck and the chin area so that we have some nice reinforced areas. And make sure you lay paper down because this can be a messy process. Don't worry about if you get a little bit on the mask. You can always peel the latex off. It's not a big deal. to be more careful but I'm usually in a rush when I do things all right let's have some more inside this thing right here let's give the neck a nice reinforced foundation so that's kind of what I'm gonna do I'm gonna let that dry and we'll come back and prep for foaming at that piece I think I'll be ready for my first batch all right.